So um, I'm outside of Georgia Ave in Glen Burnie, not far from the community college. If you were off at 648, you would have turned onto Linden. Um, not that far from where 8th Ave becomes Dorsey Road off of 648. And I mean, so I'm just trying to show the area. It's pretty nice, except for. I don't know what these buildings are here to the left. I see a bunch of like storage facilities. The other thing is that um, there's an easement here to the right because there's a house behind this house. So um, I don't. It doesn't really seem that bad though. It just kind of seems like the houses back to each other. As you can see, the roof is in really good shape. All the siding, the windows are replaced. There's additions. There's two additions on the property. So really the exterior needs absolutely nothing. Really nice brick. Um, I can think of two things that are needed in this house. Uh, the first being central AC and the second being a second bathroom. But let me just do a quick tour. So the house is immaculate. Nothing needs to be done on this level except for refinishing this hardwood that's already here. So um, from where I came in, this is the entrance. The stairs are here to the left. Bathroom, let's go this way. This is a lovely living room with an addition here straight ahead. It's a small computer room. I don't know what you would want to do with that. That could be a location for the second bathroom, although there's, I don't really know where the plumbing is around here. All of the windows are recently updated. They all look brand new. This is the dining room. and There's a really nice wraparound deck. As you can see, there's the privacy fence. Well, it's like a picket fence in the back, but you really, the house being behind it, I don't know what buyers would think. Because they have the privacy hedges, it's not that intrusive. Um, here's the, how they program the heat. So I'm wrapping around, nice open layout. Here's the kitchen. Uh, I mean, the cabinets look outdated, so you would put new cabinets and all that good stuff in. You could probably leave this uh, stove here if you wanted to, it looks pretty nice the white tile backsplash and then you have this other addition this is the second addition off the back which is a really nice uh, family room with tile everything's immaculate there's a better view of the porch um, I'm not too sure what that unit is uh, DC inventor because the remarks say that it's window I actually spoke to the agent who said there's window units and oil heat, so I'm not too sure what that thing is. You can see it's a picket fence, there's a nice shed, and I guess on the plus side there's plenty of parking, no neighbors here. I just wonder what that construction is. The other negative, well I guess I don't see too many cars. I was thinking perhaps a busy street, because I saw a few cars zoom in by. It is rush hour now, and it's actually not that bad, so I take that back. Um, so again, I like this house because not, not, not very much needs to be done. Let's go look at the basement, which is very dry and clean. All I would do in here is maybe paint the floor. These stairs are crooked, um, but I guess they're good enough. Here's the electric straight ahead. It's got a hundred. Is that two hundred, one hundred and one hundred, or? 100, I don't know. <laughs> but it was updated in 1993. And it's a shame, the ceiling height is pretty low. I would say it's about 6 feet. So I don't know how much you could really um, finish this when you only have 6 feet. Washer dryer you could leave. Got the sump pump. Um, there is the outdated piping. 
I mean, I guess you could just leave it. The foundation looks good. Yeah, to, I mean, I guess you can maybe try and finish it with low ceiling height. Or just leave it as is. Try and stage it as a, a family room. Maybe just box out half of it so that it almost feels like a family room and half storage. That'd be a good idea. Cat down there. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to show the upstairs real quick. Okay. Pull down attic. Um, we'll start going this way. This is the master. Not a huge closet, but it's a big enough master where you can see the owners have a queen size bed. That might be a king size bed actually. So it's big enough for the king size bed. Everything, again, you wouldn't really have to do anything. You could probably even leave this bathroom. <laughs> Just gotta, unfortunately, that tile would be messed up unless you left this radiator and just had a vent somewhere else. Oh, this nice new sink and vanity, leave all of it. Maybe just tile the bathtub, which has a really nice clean uh, tub surround. Okay. So you have a nice bathroom, the master, there is a small closet, but plenty of natural light. And then two other bedrooms. This one's, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 by 10 square. You just update that lighting fixture, update that lighting fixture. This one's narrow. Um, 6 or 7 by 10, maybe. And again, just one more view of the yard for the heck of it from up here. It's nice landscape though, nice trees. Um, so yeah, they're asking 204 for this house right now. It's a standard sale. Spoke to the agent. Um, and they're motivated. They're a couple that's just looking to retire. And that's about it.